wants him dead. Tommy wants him dead. If he comes around to my left, I'm popping him. Howdy folks, here we are, Tommy here, JW. Hey. Uh, we're going out to see if we can do some yoting with the Digex C50 by Pulsar. I'm running the Sniper Hog. 850. Yes sir, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> IR Illuminator on that thing. Uh, you probably seen a little bit earlier uh, on one of our previous videos, us uh, mounting that baby up and doing a little bit of shooting with it. This is the first time out with it and uh, I really, I really ha enjoyed shooting and I really enjoyed the way it looks through the scope itself. So we're going to take it out here and see uh, see how she looks in black and white with the uh, IR. It's got a nice 50 millimeter lens on the front. Yep, yep. Yeah, buddy. And I'm running the Pulsar Thermion 2 XP50. Alright, so we will catch you down the road. Y'all hang in there. We'll be right back. All right, so we're here at one of our properties, and uh, we were running the collar, and just like that, uh, had a coyote come out of the woods on me over here to the left, about 500 yards when he came out at first. I picked him up with a the thermal spotter, and then when he got about about 450, 400 yards in here, I, I, I got him clear as day on this uh, Pulsar Digex C50. I let him come in. I think I used the rangefinder that comes on here. Uh, I used the hog setting. 
uh, which is, uh, they're, you know, about similar, about similar size. Um, said he was 240, 240 some yard, I think it's 247. So I put it on him and he came in, he tried, he stopped, he come, started coming again. He stopped for the last time and stood there for, for a few seconds. And I was like, he's either thinking about coming in here to, for the call that dad was playing. I think he was playing the in heat female coyote. Or he was thinking about, well, this is a little strange. I think I'm going to get back where I came from. So I decided to go ahead and take the shot. And uh, as you see in the video here, I uh, capitalized on it, and he dropped like a ton of bricks. If he'd have come any closer, say 50 yards closer, probably would have cut our wind. Yeah. Um, I was playing the female lone howl, but when I play it in uh, a series in yeah. succession, like uh, three or four at a time, and then... Uh, 20 seconds, then do it again, three or four more, and do that for, you know, about six or eight times, and then you stop, and uh, that is what a female coyote does when she's lonely for a male. And it's about to, that time of year, too. And to top it all off, after he shot, uh, it was about four, four or five minutes later, and I saw a, a red fox, which... They're not in season right now, so I just was watching him. And next thing I know, that red fox took off to the right like a scalded dog, and I swung my scope to the left, and there was a coyote in the field out there. And um, he was out there a good ways, and he was coming in and turning around and wanting to leave, and I put the squeaker on, and he'd come in a little bit. And uh, if he'd have come on, probably... Uh, another 50 or 60 yards to my left, and then he probably would have cut her wind. So I took a shot at him and uh, got another shirt tail cut. But anyway, <laughs> we're getting ready to go over here and um, pick this uh, coyote up here so y'all come on along I with I bet you 50% chance this is a male over here. Well, probably. Oh, yeah, coming into the female, <laughs> I would say. All righty, we'll, <laughs> we'll catch you over there. All right. get bigger when we shoot them. Now oh, the important I... time, he was facing he was facing me but sort of off a little bit. Yep, and you got him right there where it counts. Boy he dropped like a ton of bricks. Mm -hmm. What did you uh what did you shoot him with? This here this is my Ruger MPR eighteen I'm shooting 50 grain VOG V Max, and my optic is the Pulsar Digex C50 night vision optic. That's our first uh, Predator since we got it, isn't it? Mm hmm. And that indeed it is. Alrighty. Just mounted her up yesterday. Alright, this is Steven's Family Outdoors. Big old yoke down. Big old yoke down. And J.W. missed. 